Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today I'm going to show you a setup that we're doing for a uh, cutting table and this happened to be two section of 72 by 48 so uh, I'm going to show you guys how this thing is working because a lot of you guys call and you want to know how is the whole setup so uh, we're gonna have every section that you get is a 48 width. 48 is this width right here. This is the 48 width, and this is the 72. So this is what we mean by 72 by 48. This square right here. That's 72. This is 48, and this is another. 72 by 48 72 by 48 so the 48 always stays the same but it is the the width that is changed from let's say you could have this 48 by 48 48 by 60 48 by 66 48 by 72 48 by 78 so this always stays the same and the width right here is the one that we change. So when you receive this table, well, this is in LA and we're setting it up for a client, uh, but when you receive this type of cutting tables, uh, if you get them on a pallet, this leg is already set up, uh, meaning this leg, the upright, the two upright, that are here, this, this, the whole thing that we see here in this side, these legs are set up. This is set up, this is set up, so, and this one is set up. So you're gonna get all those three set up. Let's say if you watch five sections together, you would have five of these legs. So on the bottom of each leg, you have 10 inch of uh, adjustable legroom right here that you could adjust. This is the upright. And then these are the arms that will make sure the table are strong and sturdy. Uh, you will receive these L shapes separately on the, on the pallet and you receive all the screws and the holes are in there, meaning that you see that you have these two holes, four holes here, and there's four holes on the uh, the upright, so you know exactly where everything goes. And in here, this is the connection, so you'll see that here we have also a four section, or I'm sorry, four screws right here, two on the top and two on the bottom and this is the upright for the middle and the legs are all the same meaning the one from far left the middle and the one far right oh, yeah. there are no different so before they're gonna put it on this is the L shape that you get you put them on both sides are the same and you just go ahead and wow. <laughs> drop in the the tabletop. Now, this is a laminated, double-sided, very strong table. And you see there's a groove in it. This is called groove, right? You put edges, no? Yeah. And then the fabric is gonna. Stretch. Yeah. This is our client. I don't want to show her face. No. But <laughs> she has a beautiful accent. And uh, so she wants to know how this is set up and I want to thank her for letting me do this in her studio. <laughs> Soon you're going to see her uh, face all over billboards in LA. So you see this is a groove right here. So the next one we'll put in here, they'll go, we're going to have an insert in here that insert with this one and the other one and it's going to be all seamless. 
So we already put on the L-shaped frame here and this is exactly what you're going to be getting in your uh, uh, pallet when it comes. This is already done when you receive this so you don't have to worry about putting this together. You're going to put this on the side and here comes the other one and watch it. Everything falls in place in two seconds. So this is double sided. You don't have to worry about which side you're going to do. And these are the inserts that goes between this and this uh, section makes a one seamless table. Okay, so this is the tricky part maybe for you guys. Not for these people here. They know what they're doing. So you're gonna have all different type of screws. These screws are the one wood screw that goes inside these holes to hold the the top to the frame. And I'm gonna go from there. So here is gonna be exactly, you know, end to end right here. There you go. Only the best of the best work for gold star tool. So you see the end? It's end to end perfect, done. Now, as you see here, we're not tying any screws yet. We're only doing the frame to the wood or table top. And we'll take it from there. At the end, we're gonna go ahead and tie all the screws yeah, right here. This is a uh, one, uno un cuarto. Uno y media. Una. Uno pulgada. This is one inch thickness. Some of you guys that have already a table in place and you want to add, you might want to check what thickness you have. So these are modules, meaning if you have, we have no room here, but let's say if you wanted to add another section here, we just add it. Add another thing. So this one is the L shape that comes to the end, the end cap or end frame right here. And just to screw it with the same screw. If you guys have the tools and the necessarily, uh, you, all you need is a drill because everything else is, uh, everything else is uh, supplied. So you put in the insert right here and there's a groove and now you're gonna see they're gonna just go ahead and plug it in. You go. Perfect. Perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> Obviously, uh, these are very professional people that are putting this together. It will take them probably half an hour for two sections, even less. But if you guys want to do this at home, probably two or three hours. But it's still worth the, you know, worth the time. And here you go. As you see here, we want everything to be perfect. You see, even the, right here, you have no, everything is seamless. So this is two sections, 72 by 48. And it's 
Pretty nice and pretty big. This you could you could land a 747 jumbo jet on this thing. Pe pretty heavy. And it needs some tiny 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 adjustment to make sure it's all perfect in place, but it takes two seconds to do all of that stuff. When you screw all the screws in now. When we tell you a section, one section means this table and this leg. For each complete row, you need an extra leg. For these two sections, right here, we have a uh, one extra leg. This would be called the extra leg. Again, this is a brand new camera that I'm using today. Uh, and uh, I hope I'm doing a good job. This is what my customers told me I should buy and this is what I got. So all you have here is the drill and a mask. And a drill. That's the overall look of the table. Again, uh, for those people that will use a spreading machine, let's say if you have five or six sections and you want to Spread your uh, fabric on the table and use the spreading machine. You're gonna have a rail coming to this side, maybe one inch from the edge. It's a rail, that's an extra option. Now, this is the best part of this. You gotta make sure everything is in balance. That, that's beautiful. And I'm going to show you how to. So, we're going to have another L shape here. And it's done. The good thing. Everything could be adjusted, the height. And uh, you could use the bottom bracket. To you to put in a eight by four feet uh, wood. wood. Right? Yeah. Is it eight by four exactly? Eight by four exactly. That would like. Yeah, you could fit. go fit right there, and you could put in your fabric. You could put in your uh, marking paper, pattern paper. Now, when I say yeah, this would be four by exactly seventy-two by forty-eight each section. So you need two of. Four by eight foot. You got to take two. Yeah. You can't do one big. You can't do one big. No. You can't. We cannot do one because we have four. We have eight feet here. And oh yeah, you could do one big one. Instead yeah. Of have two yeah, 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 yeah. You could do one eight by four feet. And here. Let me just show him this one. Yeah. This is the end. That goes to the end, right here. Thank you. See, everything is perfect. See, I mean, beauty, what you see right here. I'm telling you. Look. And we're gonna do more to this right now. You, you'll see how they make this. You see maybe one millimeter of, uh, uh, edge right here, but I'm going to show you how you could get it off to like here, it's perfect, but as you go in the middle, because of the, the floor, you have uh, unbalanced, so we're going to finish this perfect. So again, you could use the bottom. What about the edges of 
Is that just how it is? It did not work. So okay. it's good that I have a client right here that could correct me if I'm wrong. What? What part? You know the edges of the legs? Is mm -hmm. there anything the to put on? Or? The right here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the bottom. A lot of people want to use the wheels. Uh, we don't we don't supply wheels, but if you want you could uh or is there something to put on to protect the floor? Yeah. No. You could you could use one of those round uh, uh moving uh, tools, you know, they sell yeah. them like four of them to get uh, wow. Okay, so what are we doing right now uh, underneath? Uh, we are screwing the bottom frame also so to make hey. it strong no. and to bring it, that side down huh? right now Maybe a perfect right. they're gonna and then we're gonna paste it yeah. and so as I was saying you could use wheels you could go to Lowe's Home Depot yeah. and get wheels and just screw them to the bottom yeah. you could adjust the legs you could also now see what we're doing right now. We are using a regular razor blade, and we just go ahead. See you. That's it. Again, you gotta excuse me. A brand new. Uh, camera and I got a it's just a razor blade and then we're gonna use a a paste that you could buy from any Home Depot or Lowe's that I'm gonna give you see <laughs> This is no Home Depot. No Home Depot? No. Oh, no only, Home Depot. Only Ruben. Only Ruben? Yeah. Only Ruben. All right. You see? Here. Okay. See? It's just a paste. That smells good. Here you go. I'm telling you. you. You guys better like this video because it's very entertaining and funny. And then can they push it this way after? And then we could move it a little bit if you want to, but I don't think you should move it because you need room on each way, at least two feet. No, but I was thinking it's fine if I can walk here, but this part is all the way to here, so there's no room. No, you gotta be here now. We we paint everything and give me that, please. This is what we used. <laughs> so you can move it this way. Frame wood. See wood no? sealer. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is what we used for pasting the middle. And they're gonna wait till it dries out for two minutes and then they're gonna sand it and we're good to go. Done deal. The client wants us to uh, move the table a little bit to the right. We'll do that and again you could add rail to this table if you have like five or six or seven section to for a spreading machine you do it here. Everything that you see is included but the drill. Uh, so everything is now done. This is the overall picture of view of the table. And we're not done yet. We got a couple of finishing touches and then uh, hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy this video as we get a lot of requests to show a setup of the table and uh, I thought this was a good uh, opportunity to just do it because it was two sections and so yeah we waited to dry out and then we stand
καλή. Δεν μπορεί. Θα κάνω κάτι που Very thick. Is it easy to move if you don't have people? Uh, to dismantle it and take it to other place, or yeah. just in here? Yeah. You need to. It's important to know. No. Yeah, you gotta. If you if you're moving from one location to another location, you gotta dismantle the whole thing. So you need somebody who knows. You either need somebody that knows, or you see what I'm doing. Watch the video later on and see how to do it. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to move it around in your studio, you could just put in those moving plates on the bottom. You could get those from Home Depot or Lowe's. Yeah, this one has six legs. How so, heavy is it? How heavy is this? Heavy. Quattro cento per... Cada uno. Yeah. Each section 250 pounds. It's a lot. It's a lot. So this is 500... See, that's what I'm talking about. Seamless, you don't even see anything. 200, 200. Yeah. This is it. 100, and then, 300. this is the look from here. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't mind showing you some of the views of Hollywood. <laughs> Beautiful mountains. This would be considered Hollywood. Uh, this is it, right? Yeah, Beachwood Canyon. Beachwood Canyon. <laughs> While people are waiting for this to set up, I could show you some of the beautiful houses and downtown LA you could see from uh, back there. Or that could be mid Wilshire. Oh, and here we go. Finishing touches, wax. You again, you could get the wax from any place. And that's not gonna rub off on fabrics. No, we're gonna wait. We're gonna put this on, and then we're gonna wait 24 hours before you use this. 24 hours. Oh, I can't use it right away. It's better not to use it right away. Oh my god, mm. I was gonna cut fabrics now. No, you wait. It's gonna go go away in maybe four or five hours, but I'm just no. feel more comfortable. One Here. day? One day? Yeah. yeah, no, maybe one hour. One hour? Yeah. He said one hour. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So this is the wax. You're waxing the table right now. As you see. And uh, again, the wax you could find anywhere. Oh, this is a nice view. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, could you deliver um, overlock machine? Yes, we could do over. We have our client is uh, gonna get a overlock machine and a single needle machine down the road and. I'm not going to show you your face, but do you like our service? Yes. No, really? Yeah. Good. It's been perfect. It's been perfect. She come, she came in. She liked the you know the price, and we told her we're going to deliver the date and the time, and we did it. And yeah. here we go. Great service. Great service, and uh, she's not fake. She's a real client, and she she just doesn't want to be in the video, and I you know I understand that. So uh, this is a done thing. Okay. Finished. Finished. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Please go to goldstartool.com. Uh, let us know. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and push it a little bit back. You could push it, two people. We're going to push it back. See? Here we go. We have this for Kitomas.
<laughs> Here we go. Perfect. And a done, done deal. Again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know uh, what you want me to do next. And this is a, uh, I would say a 20 by 15 foot room. And we have this in a corner right here. And that's how it's gonna look. This is a 72 by 48 and it's two sections. So this would be 72 by 96 inch, which is six feet by eight feet. And again, thank you for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. This is our website goldstartool.com